like I want something that'll give me an excuse to like go out in the woods and also um, something that I can sort of look at in the winter time when we've got a whole bunch of snow or a whole bunch of mud that brings a little green into the house. Welcome back everyone. I'm Sarah Scully with Vermont Craft Tours and today I have my very good friend Jessamine West here with me. Hi Jessamine. Hey, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Um, Jessamine is known for many things. She's a library technology person. She helps um, in our local community uh, and she's also kind of an internet rock star librarian as well. Does a lot of blogging and a lot of writing about access to information. Um, but today we're going to talk about something completely different. I've asked Jessamine to talk about one of her hobbies, um, which is making mossariums. So, um, and we're going to have a, a, a accompanying video with this one um, later in the week. We'll actually show you how to make a mossarium. Um, but how did you get started with this hobby? Well, I, I do computers for uh -huh. a job and I do computers for a hobby and I live in you know the most beautiful place ever right i love vermont so much and i'm like you know computers you need another you need a hobby that gets you outdoors you get a hobby that gets you interacting with nature and like i've always enjoyed taking photographs but like nah, it wasn't really doing yeah. it for me yeah. you also do birding and some yeah other things too. I, I participate yeah. in some of the bird stuff but i kind of hit a wall with birds mm -hmm. where i I can identify all the ones I can identify, <laughs> and then I just can't identify anything else. Yep. So I was like, I want something that'll give me an excuse to like go out in the woods, and also um, something that I can sort of look at in the wintertime when we've got a whole bunch of snow or a whole bunch of mud that brings a little green into the house. And uh -huh. so I don't even remember where I first saw it or heard about it. I mean, I think it was some kind of internet thing uh -huh. where someone was like, well, I could just put it in a jar. And I was what? Really? It's that simple? And I'm not great with plants. I've gotten better over the last like five or ten years, but no. I would just kill everything. Oh yeah. I've killed cacti, ivy, all the things you're not supposed to be able to right. kill. Right. How can you kill plant. a cactus, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they live in the desert, yeah. but yep. they die in your home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so basically I sort of experimented and started, you know, going out of the woods and finding moss and one of the things that's great about it is you can just kind of like leave it in a plate with some water somewhere cold and really as long as you keep it out of the sun it mostly stays alive and if you put it in a little jar and we'll sort of look at how to do that later it um it just stays looking green stays looking cool you can be a little creative with it you don't have to be mm -hmm. and they kind of make good gifts actually moss travels yep. well which you would never think yep but you can like put it in little bags and mail it to people, and oh, as long cool. as it stays cold and damp, uh huh, it stays good. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, Justin gave us one a uh, little mossarium a few years ago. I did eventually manage to kill it off, but I kept it going for a couple of good they years. They kind of don't in live forever. Yeah. I mean, that's one of the things that's a little challenging is really knowing that like, I mean, if they do well, often they grow and they fill up their little jar. If mm -hmm. they do badly. Sometimes they just drop dead, or there's a couple failure modes that we'll probably talk about, about like, don't do this, it's guaranteed to not work. Mm -hmm. But you know, for a couple of years, there's something that looked yep. lovely, yep. a little bit of green, and it brings a little bit of the outdoors indoors, which it is does. one of the things that I like. Yeah, and I like it too that you can kind of, like I said, you can get creative with it. If you want to, you can add little rocks or sculptures or things or a uh, little green army men or whatever you have around. <laughs> Make little sort of moss diorama art things. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of the terrarium of our childhood, uh -huh. only even a little bit more robust, a little bit more uh -huh. difficult to kill, and kind of fun to assemble because it does have a couple parts. It's not just like put a plant in a jar, uh -huh. but it's not much more complicated than that. And I sort of like, it means when I travel, because I do like, you know, talk to people about library stuff, mm -hmm. I can find moss where I am and yeah. bring it home and be like, oh, it's a little jar that reminds me of. And then, of course, I totally forget where I got any yeah. of it from. <laughs> like, oh, didn't this Label come from that special Seattle. place? I know, <laughs> I know. Where you are. <laughs> yeah. That's that's really funny. Yeah. And it seems like it ties into um, your interest in the 251 Club, too, the kind of traveling around and exploring the state more. Tell us a little bit more about that. The 251 Club is like my favorite goofy thing mm -hmm. basically it's a little club in vermont's got 251 towns 
and a couple gores and grants, some, a couple other unincorporated areas. Mm -hmm. But basically there's a club. It's super informal. And the goal is to visit all the towns. Mm -hmm. And usually when I tell people that, they're like, well, what does that mean? Do, mm -hmm. you, do you have to set foot in the town? Do you have to go to the town hall? And what I love about it is it's like, I don't know, it's whatever you want. Like yeah. some people visit them all by bicycle or some people walk them all or mm -hmm. kayak in every town or yeah. whatever. Um, yeah. If you join the club, mm -hmm. you know, it costs a tiny bit of money. The lady who runs the club lives in my town. I think mm -hmm. in my town. I don't know if she's in Randolph and Bethel. She's right near there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they have an annual meeting mm -hmm. with a little lunch. Love you it. get a newsletter. Yeah. But, like, that's it. You can make it whatever you want to make. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. if you're somebody who's really into completionist projects, mm -hmm. you know, catch them all kind of thing. Right. It's fun because it gives a kind of a a little goal to just driving mm -hmm. around and looking at how completely beautiful the state is. Mm -hmm. Yep. And if you want to get competitive about it, super. And if you don't right. want to, super. Yep. Like, whatever you want. Yeah. And I did go to the annual meeting a couple times. And it's a lot of old timers, as you might expect. Mm -hmm. But they've got all sorts of super stories. They, they read, they sing a song together about how <laughs> awesome Vermont is. And, and usually they have a speaker who's That's cool. Right. Mm -hmm. But it is very, um, it's just very kind of old-timey Vermont, both mm -hmm. with old-timey Vermonters and, you know, people like me, yeah. but also just people who kind of love looking at things, you know, mm -hmm. and not turning it into anything more than that. Or if you want to, great, some people go visit the mall by motorcycle, et cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Right. Yeah. But I think it's the largest, um, I think it's the largest club in Vermont. It's a big club. Mm -hmm. You got four or 5,000 people probably. Wow, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, Frick and I need to probably re-up our membership or do something, but um, we've ha we have kept track. Um, for us, it's got to be, you have to do something. So you have to visit a thing or have lunch or go for a walk or you have to do something. Get out of the car. Yeah, you can't just <laughs> cruise through and be like, hey, I check one off the list. So, yeah, but I, I think we've, we're probably still well below halfway. So we need to maybe set some goals. I think that might be my 2018 thing. It's like, yeah, see more of. Well, because a lot of times, time. it, you know, it's good if you just have a day and you're like, what are we going to do today? Mm -hmm. I mean, Jim and I have done that where we'll just be like, well, let's get in the car and go to Lewis mm -hmm. or whatever. Because I've done all the towns once, like mm -hmm. at least set foot in every town. Mm -hmm. But now I'm going back and taking a photograph in, mm -hmm. every, mm -hmm. in every town, which is a little challenging if you go to like four or five towns mm -hmm. because you take a photograph and it's of some glorious tree mm -hmm. and then you're like, which town is that yeah. glorious tree in? You almost have to hold up, take two versions of the photo. I do well, this that's sometimes. Exactly. It's like, one with the index card, this is where It's is. exactly what I do. I take a picture of my finger pointing to the name of the town on the gazetteer <laughs> afterwards. I mean, right. everybody says, like, oh, just turn on location mm -hmm. data in your phone. And I'm like, nah, then I'll start posting pictures of my home address to Instagram by mistake. So mm -hmm. I just do it the old-fashioned way. Yeah. But again, like, it's fun. And I'm doing a little sort of goofy personal thing called you know, Jessamine's 183 project, mm -hmm. which is visiting all the public libraries right. in the state, yep. which is there's 183 public libraries, more libraries per capita than any other state in the country. And, you know, some of them are only open like 11 hours a week. So mm -hmm. it's super challenging. Mm -hmm. And I think I've gone to 30 or 40 of them. So yeah. that's my like, right. Well, and you expanded on that too with the library passport program. Yeah. Trying to I, get other people involved in, in visiting. It's a project we did with the Vermont Libraries. Library Association, which yeah. seems like a big deal, but really it's kind of a small nonprofit group. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. 251 Club's got 4,000 people. VLA's got like 400. Mm -hmm. Like it's fairly teeny. Mm -hmm. And we just decided to do this passport project where we had a little like visit as much like visit as many libraries as you can for the summer mm -hmm. get them stamped in a little passport and we made the passport and it was very cute mm -hmm. and at the end of the summer whoever goes to the most wins a prize we had right. people donate you know morse farm donated some like maple mm -hmm. popcorn and libraries donated books stickers right. yeah mugs we, we had a little ceremony at the yeah. end of the season last year this mm -hmm. year it was a little harder to get sort of people into it. I was away for the summer, and so mm -hmm. we didn't have quite as much, like, rah, rah, rah stuff mm -hmm. going. But, yeah, we did it three solid years. People were into it. And, mm -hmm. again, it's just a way to get people to see what's cool about Vermont. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. And get out of your rut or your house in winter or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. whatever whatever the thing is. Mm-hmm. Like, whatever, whatever you could use a little push. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, don't forget about... I mean, I think for a lot of people in Vermont, there's, like, outdoor sports. There's outdoor... Mm-hmm. You know, maybe you got kids that do a thing. Mm-hmm. But I think for a lot of us who are kind of doing the, like, live the dream, work at home thing, mm-hmm. getting a little push in the direction of doing something outside that isn't just go to a job or run errands or go shopping is, right. is cool. Yeah, I agree. Because even living up on a nice, you know, a nice hillside and we have trails behind our house, even then it's hard. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, <laughs> oh, the dog's whining incessantly. I should really go outside. Take him for a walk. Take me for a walk. It would be good. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, oh good. pants. I have to put on pants. <laughs> or whatever the thing was. I got dressed right. to come over here today. You right. know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, well... Here's to uh, DIY, whatever your DIY thing is, and um, getting outside. So go collect some moss or take a picture, see a bird, see a new town, do something. Anyway, cheers. Thanks for joining me. Cheers. Thanks for having me.